Spring is in the air, so you know what that means. So is a new menu at Keto Jungle. Here to give us all the fresh and delicious details is Basil Osmani. Good morning. Great to see you Good again. Good to see you. This is a feast for the eyes. And let's start down here because you change up the menu. We're heading into spring now, a new menu, and you're bringing back the oldies with the goodies. Yes, seasonal kitchen craft. The theme for this run is the greatest hits, really, over the last 20, 22 years. And they're kind of enhanced, you know, superfoods have been introduced, uh, flavors have been streamlined. Right here, uh, an avocado hummus with a garbanzo red quinoa tabbouleh salad. Oh, I mean, it's delicious. birthing with freshness, health, everything else you want. That is spring on a plate. But you know what? I love me a good cheesesteak sandwich. Exactly, out of Philly. We, we, we have a classic sandwich at the stores that we've been doing for a long time on a pita. This one is on a lavash, thin cracker kind of bread that's wood-fired. It's delicious. It's got in it like all kind of flavors and textures and it's, it's, it's amazing. It's been, the response has been tremendous on it. Yes, I mean, it, there's nothing plain about that sandwich. But yeah. you know what, if people weren't hungry, they are going to be now because take a look at this. Tell me what this menu item is. So th this is a curried potato pizza. So it's vegetarian, vegan actually. Well, not vegan, no, there's, uh, you know, the, the cheese on it, obviously. But it's vegetarian. Uh, <laughs> Gluten-free. Um, and uh, it's, 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 it's an excellent balance of taste, of spices, of, of tart, sweet, everything else that comes in between. So it's, 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 it's awesome. And again, you're known for your delicious hummuses. Hummus, and that's, again, the avocado hummus. It's been very successful, you know, with avocado being on the forefront of, you know, superfoods, and, and it blends so well. And we're, we're in the Southwest, so we're big avocado ears out here, so it works very well. And what a great dish. You can start off as an appetizer and share with a friend, but I think a pita jungle, I don't necessarily think of seafood, but you do have some fantastic seafood dishes. Oh, yeah, that's a curried uh, shrimp dish, tikka masala style. With I brown, love that brown rice, yeah, it's it's very healthy. There's really like coconut uh, milk in it, base and 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 made from scratch in in house. So it's it's really simple, really clean, uh, not too spicy, but spicy enough anyone could enjoy it. Oh, I would love to eat that for dinner. But this also looks interesting. Tell me about this dish. Okay, heart, lentils. Hearty, yes, beluga lentils, the caviar of lentils. They're they're, they're, they're strikingly, <laughs> you know, they're, they're they're black like little caviar things. Um, it's it's a super clean broth, simple, you know, just very thin, very clear, N nothing fancy about it. Very rustic, hit the spot, super healthy. And after you have one of these delicious dishes, you're going to need to have a fun cocktail. You have some great cocktails going on this season. Yes, we we rolled out a couple new things of which the mango margarita and the Mediterranean mule made with fig vodka. And, oh, and the, that's interesting. Yeah, so it's got like a nice zinc to it, the sweetness of the fig. Uh, mules are, you know, a major thing nowadays and we, we figured we needed to come up with something that's on brand with what we do. So we, we kind of rolled out a couple of things. There's more things, there's a nice drink with a botanist gin. Uh, You're and, always mixing it yeah, up over yeah. there. And you have a great happy hour menu as well. Yeah, we brought these two shows a little bit every day from 3 to 6. We got excellent happy hours with black bean slider, salmon slider, kefta slider. We got olives, we got flatbreads, we got hummus, we got the whole thing. There's more things too. Fresh and delicious. And if there wasn't another reason to celebrate all this, there's National Pita Day. Yes. <laughs> Tell me about that. So Pita Day, it's a thing that's happening nowadays, apparently. Uh, for, <laughs> For, for us, it's a way to, you know, raise our arm and say, hey. Yeah, participate and have some fun. Indeed, on March 29, all day long, with any of our signature uh, dips, you'll, you'll get to consume as many pitas as you want. <laughs> do as I get a t-shirt <laughs> if I eat enough? No. Hey, <laughs> maybe we can do a deal. <laughs> well, this all looks absolutely amazing. You have 20 locations here in Arizona, so there's definitely one around the corner from you. So, Basil, thank you so much. Always great to see you, and this thank just you. looks absolutely delicious. And if you want to find a pita jungle location near you, head to our website.